Welcome back to the video darkroom and this time I want to talk about the importance of having a business plan and I'm going to illustrate that importance with four quotations that I hope that you'll find both interesting and useful. This first one is from Lewis Carroll and it says, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. In other words, if you've got no particular destination in mind, take any road and it'll be fine. I think that's useful, but I actually prefer the Henry Kissinger version, which is an improvement on it. And it's much more relevant to this particular discussion. It's just a variation on the same theme, but it says, if you don't know where you're going, every road will get you nowhere. Or maybe more likely, every road will get you to somewhere that you don't want to be. To relate that back to the business plan, if you're starting your own video production company, you must have a goal or a destination in mind. You must know where you want to go, otherwise you may end up in a situation that's just not what you want. It may end up being a job that you don't enjoy, or it may end up being an unsuccessful company that just doesn't generate enough revenue to cover its costs. So the key thing is, first, to have a goal, to know what you want to create, what the company will look like, and then create the plan to get you there. And that's the business plan. Moving on then to my third quotation, which says, success in life depends primarily on three things. The discovery of who you are, what you can do best, and where you're going. And I think this is really the key insight. Figure out who you are, and that means what you want to achieve. What are your values in life? Are you seeking financial success or are you seeking independence in your life and work? Do you thrive on being creative? What are those things that really motivate you and that you want to achieve in life? This makes up who you are. And then secondly, you've got to consider what you can do best. There's no point in suggesting that you're going to be an amazing musician if you don't have perfect pitch or a musical ear or become a top sports person if you don't have those athletic skills. Figuring out what your skills are and what you can do best is really critical. Let's think about planning a trip. If you open up Google Maps, the first thing that you put into Google Maps is where you want to go. And then the second thing that you need to do is choose your mode of transport. There's no point in saying that you want to visit a city on another continent and then choose the walking option because walking just doesn't have the capability to get you there. So you've got to look at your own ability and see whether you have the skills that are needed to get you to your destination. In my opinion, there's too much advice going along the lines of follow your passion, as if passion or motivation is all that's needed. Better advice comes from the comedian Steve Martin. Be so good that they can't ignore you. This thought gets developed in the book of the same title by Cal Newport, and I can really recommend that book. Then finally, knowing your destination and your transport options, that is your abilities, choose the route that's going to get you there, your preferred route. So if we know what it is that we want to achieve in life and we know what our values and aspirations are, we know what our capabilities are and how we can apply those to get us to the destination, then the whole thing about a business plan is choosing the route. So you've got to figure out how you're going to get your customers. You've got to think about what services you're going to offer how much profit you're going to make on each service that you deliver. You've got to think about how many of each of those services you're going to have to deliver and you're going to have to have a look at what investments are needed in things like equipment and systems and many other things that you might need like insurance. I'm not going to cover how to write a business plan in this video. Maybe we'll do that in another one in the future to look at what the essential elements of a business plan might be for starting a video production company. But you're definitely going to have to have one. And you've got to measure yourself against that plan. 
Now let's deal with a couple of typical objections. A lot of people will say, well, I'm just not an analytical person. I just don't do that kind of thing. I think in my head, well, that's all very well, but I think that will bring you back to the position that we've discussed earlier, where if you don't know where you're going, every road may take you to somewhere you may not want to be. If you don't have a business plan, you're really not taking your business seriously. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 45% of all new businesses fail within the first five years. Failure to research the market and prepare a business plan are common reasons they state for this business failure. So I want to bring up now my final quotation, which I find quite amusing. It comes from Daniel Kahneman, who wrote the book Thinking Fast and Slow. And the quotation is, Thinking is to humans as swimming is to cats. They can do it, but they prefer not to. Thinking takes effort, thinking drains you mentally, it's hard work and many people just simply avoid it. I think that this is the critical thing. This is, you know, to say I'm not an analytical person or I don't like to do this or that. I think really it just can be an excuse just not to do the hard work of thinking and maybe it's just a question of possibly being a bit lazy. If you want to be an athlete, you have to get into training and put in the effort. And if you want to create a business, you have to do a bit of thinking and planning and put in the effort. It's hard work and you don't need to do it all in one go. But take one hour every day, for example, for a week or two, and you can put together a really well thought through business plan that you can measure yourself against. I was reading this science article recently and it comes with the heading, to avoid thinking hard, we will endure almost anything, even pain. And this is so true. So many people just simply avoid good, hard thinking. Now, let me say one more thing about thinking hard, and that is that you have to do it on paper or, or if not on actual paper in a document. I don't mind whether you use technology or a simple pen and paper. It doesn't matter, but you've got to get the document. You've got to write down what your plan is for two reasons. One is that thinking on paper or thinking in a document is real thinking. It allows you to be precise and to really get the essence of the thoughts and the structure and everything else out of your head and into something that is structured and permanent. And secondly, over the weeks, you're gonna be measuring yourself against that business plan and potentially making some changes and updates to it. As you review your business plan, you should ask yourself, did I achieve the numbers that are in it? And if it turns out that you didn't achieve those numbers that are in your business plan, you may wanna change some ways that you're working, make some adjustments to your business and how you go about it. Or you may wanna change the business plan in some way. Either way, you need not to fool yourself. You need to be realistic about what you're achieving revise your plan and your actions moving forward in order to keep directing yourself towards that successful outcome that you are seeking. So my suggestion is then that you put in the effort, that you put in the hard work, that you write the business plan, and that over the months that follow, you track yourself and your business performance against that plan. And if you don't do that, just go back to Henry Kissinger if you don't know where you're going, every road will take you nowhere. Life is short. Put in the thinking, put in the work and give yourself the best chance of getting to the destination that you seek. So I wish you every success. And if you would value more detail on business plans for a video production company, then let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.